Few games can steer themselves out of a groove when they seem to follow a trend. Grand Theft Auto changed the fabric of what a video game could be when it first released, and further entries have pioneered through the industry. This led many companies to create their own clone of the franchise, both in a mechanic sense and also following a similar theme, but none have managed to break the mould, quite like Saints Row, who after a very basic first outing decided to ramp up the crazy setting and lean into a more wacky and destructive direction. This pattern only grew more out of control from the second entry up until Gad Out of Hell, the spin-off game that made the president and fighting aliens somehow pale in comparison. This did leave a lot of questions as the series hit the Saints 4 Gad Out of Hell entry though. How the hell do you go bigger than that? And there was a simple answer. You don't. This led to series creators Deep Silver Volition to completely reboot the franchise, with new characters, a new setting, and less leaping at aliens with superpowers. What a sentence. During the announcement back in 2021, we were shown a cinematic that highlighted a much smaller scale that was more akin to Saints Row 2 and 3. This led to mixed receptions as many fans had enjoyed the series at its climax and were hoping for more adventures with the OG Saints. Many fans also thought this would be a fresh start and be more down-to-earth entry, like the beloved Saints Row 2 was. Would either side of the fence be happy with what was released on August 23rd? Well, just, just watch. So, just wait a second. I'm gonna hit pause here for a minute just to say my piece. I also need to start this review by stating that this game has not received a positive reception overall. Due to a mixture of bugs, some questionable writing, and a mishmash of opinions that flow from the game is very repetitive to it's cyberpunk all over again. In my opinion, it's not nearly as bad as people claim it to be. However, there are clearly some issues within the game which do include bugs, do need some attention. So starting out with a solid cinematic that introduces the saints in their prime, throwing a party and being the life of that party, the sequence also acts as the character creator in which you use the game's very detailed character editor. This is a highlight as the attention to detail for the game's character spans from usual facial features all the way up to prosthetic limbs. This feature was actually pre-released as Boss Factory, and allowed gamers to create their character and load in when they start the game. So far so good, yeah? Well, it comes to a swift end as the evening goes on to our main character, the boss, being buried alive. This is in fact a flash forward, thus we end up going back a few months to before the Saints even existed into the game's tutorial, in which we work for one of the game's military factions, Marshall. This is our first taste of combat, and in comparison to other Saints Row games, this isn't far from what we're used to. I would go as far to say that the combat is actually smoother than previous entries, but given the last entry came out in 2015, I would say this isn't exactly what I was hoping for with the next leg up after a 7 year hiatus. Saints Row shooting has always been a little bit stiff, and that stiffness is still here. It is improved, absolutely, but this isn't the kind of thing I'd expect from a next gen game. That is the only problem I've had, however, and even then I still enjoyed the shooting and combat of the tutorial. With the tutorial done and our first Marshall mission complete, we can move on to the open world. This is where the next issue that I've seen takes place. In the moment after the tutorial mission ends and you meet the supporting characters, as well as watching the boss have a hissy fit in the car, which while I'm on the subject the driving is improved from previous entries too, again not to the extent I was hoping for, but it's better. 
Anyway, post-tutorial is where the example of questionable writing comes into play. After playing quite a few hours of the game, I'm struggling to nail the humour and writing in some of the scenes. That, on top of the way that some of the characters act or talk, also leads me to question what exactly the motivation of these characters was, other than to be young and to fit some form of stereotype. This isn't being critical of all the writing, as I genuinely found a lot of the moments funny here and there. A side quest that features LARP is by far one of the best missions of the game, and it's both entertaining in gameplay and it's written well. Some moments just went over my head, and after watching some other reviewers reacting to these moments in a similar way to me, I'm now under the impression I'm just old and don't really get what funny is. I'm 27, damn it! Speaking of the missions, there are two very different opinions on how they are, and they're both right in senses. One side is that the missions are all the same and that it's boring, and the other is that the context of the missions is what makes them unique and they all feature the same wave-based combat. Both do have some merit for the most part, although there are numerous driving, wingsuit missions, there's a variety in there and there's a lot of diversity there as well, so I, I don't quite know where the staleness comes from with people saying there isn't a lot to it. We even see the return of insurance fraud, which is an age-old mission type, which to any returning players is just a big old broken neck of nostalgia. Both also describe the old Saints Row games, which to me means that the formula hasn't really changed, which depending on how much you liked it will depend on how much you enjoy this game. And that pretty much brings me to the final point that I need to make on this game as a whole. This game, in its entirety, isn't where a lot of people want it to be. It doesn't feel like a game that's on par with what a GTA 6 would be, or another entry coming out this year like God of War Ragnarok. It doesn't feel like a game that's coming out in 2022. Given that it is 2022, that's... it, it could be a bad thing. Alternatively, this is the same formula that got us to the point where we were flying through a city and fighting off zombies and different enemy types in the middle of a crowded city. This is... A lot of it links back to games that made this series great if you look for it, and I'm in complete agreement that this game needs some work. But I also don't think it's the flop some other reviewers claim it to be. It's a 2018 game released in 2022 from my perspective, and if I could have some chaotic fun like I could back in Steelport, then I'll probably enjoy this one. Overall, Saints Row is a more toned down but still wacky third person shooter that has its fair share of laughs, but also bugs. I think that to say the game is trash is just untrue, but to say it's a masterpiece is also way out of the park. With some bug fixes and a few updates here and there, this could be a solid entry, but with some of the choices made here creatively and mechanically, I don't see the sitting on the throne that the previous entries did. And with that guys, we bring this video to a close. Thank you for sticking around till the end if you did, I enjoyed writing and playing this game so it does mean a lot. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and give us a like as it does help us out. We upload weekly and stream three times a week as well, with a mixture of industry interviews, reviews and general gameplay. We also have a website with plenty of reading material, so please take a look. If you're interested in repping the Robot Republic look, we also have a merch store with numerous designs that could tickle your pickle, so be sure to check out the description below. We also have a community discord, where you can chat to us and other supporters, as well as take place in community game nights. Finally, we do a giveaway on our Twitter regularly, so make sure to give us a follow and keep your eye out. I'm Alex with Robot Republic, and I'll see you next time.